The world is already full of disaster. Terrorism, slavery, kidnapping, snatching, murder, name it all. We experience it all. Let us not ask what our country can do for us. Rather, let us ask what we can do for our country. What does world peace mean? According to Heidi Bardot, Assistant Professor of Art Therapy Director, Art Therapy Program, Peace is in shared laughter with friends, colleagues, or loved ones. Peace is in the grateful smile of a student when we figure out a solution to their problem. Next is according to Daniel E. Martinez, Assistant Professor of Sociology, Peace comes from the comfort in knowing that you have a roof over your head, food to eat, and loving family members and friends. Many people are not free from persecution, nor they count on the comfort shelter, food, and a supportive social circle. The issue of war and peace has always been a focal issue in all periods of history and at all levels, relations among nations. The concern of the humankind for peace can be assessed by taking into account the fact that all religions, all religious scriptures, and several religious ceremonies are committed to the cause of peace and all these advocate an elimination of war. Without peace and order, cities, kingdoms, societies, communities, families, everything goes to chaos. World peace is something that every individual should be a part of. We need peace simply to avoid conflict from nation to nation. No peace in a nation not only affects the nation itself, but it affects the whole world. For example, Yemen is still in an ongoing war for nearly more than two years now. In result, the people have fled to claim asylum in other countries. Food items and medicines are 500% more expensive than they were before the civil war. And 18 million of the country's 29 million citizens lack access to regular nutritious meals. In some remote parts of the country, families have resorted to eating leaves to survive after distribution of aid to their areas was prevented by local authorities. According to the UN and other sources, from March 2015 to December 2017, between 8,670 to 13,600 people were killed in Yemen, including more than 5,200 civilians, as well as estimates of more than 50,000 dead as a result of an ongoing famine due to the war. The Philippines' Marawi city in Mindanao remains wrecked after nearly two years after the war that lasted five months back in May 2017. The war resulted to making residents leave their homes and seek refuge to other places. Some were eager to stay because of the fear that when they return, they will no longer have a home. government forces were killed, 12 by friendly fire, over 1,400 government forces wounded, and 87 civilians dead, 40 due to illness. These are just the very few news of wars that has happened and is currently happening. Nobody 
globally o PST sector will stay in a certain place na magulog. Pag peaceful kasi yung isang lugar, maraming investor na pupunta yung technical progressing. And all the people who will sojourn or stay in that place will become also progressive. How can we achieve? There is always a law binding us. Without that law, then we cannot achieve the world business. Kapag meron talaga batas na nagbabay sa atin para magtaroon tayo sa world business. Let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Change the world by being you, but don't let the world change who you are. Don't let society change the person you want to be. You have to be you, and can't let anybody change that. Embrace and communicate our racial and ethnic diversity. Forgive people and take them as they are whether they are indifferent. Take the religious, races, and personal differences and the racial equity, recognizing that different people and communities encounter different types of stereotypes and discrimination based on diverse and intersectional identities. Die once, live every day. Enjoy what you have now and enjoy every moment of your life. Do not amass negative memories and emotions. Do not try to predict and plan your future. You never know what will happen tomorrow. Thus, enjoy the present with love and peace. World peace does not require much effort. Discipline within will let you start 